Hey, what's going on YouTube? Got the new skull shaker here. And I really like the idea of it being a tuned bone shaker, but of course, with this little dude sitting in here in no seats, it's just, uh, you know, something else. So. so I thought I would take him out, try and add in an actual bone shaker set of seats and a dash, and actually make myself a real tuned bone shaker. Got my actual bone shaker here that I'm gonna scalp the pieces from. Let's do it. Let's make a custom. Okay, the first thing I got to do here is drill out the regular bone shaker and get that interior out of there. My idea now is to cut out the interior of the original bone shaker and see if I can't get it to line up perfectly with the skull shaker. Should be a perfect fit. First thing I'm gonna do here is try and cut out the portions of the interior I don't need. Hopefully it doesn't shatter in the process. I don't know how well that's showing up in the background, but we have a serious thunderstorm going on right now. So if you hear crashing and booming, this is the part I'm worried about right here. I don't want to snap the dashboard off. It's only on by a little piece in the center there. I was thinking about cutting the pipes off the engine, but I might use the engine for something else. So I kind of want it to cut really smoothly. That was a bit of a pain, but I got the interior out, got the front and the back cleaned up. Now we just got to get this guy out of here, and I wanted to do it without drilling in, and I think if I reach down in between the back of him and the front, I can get him released from that little pole that he kind of shakes on, and then he'll, he should just come straight out. Alright, well I don't really want to cut myself, so I'm going to do this off camera real quick. I got the front side cut free, and I'm just trying to yank him out of here now. Haha. -ha. Just like that. One little piece of the arm is still stuck in there, but oh, never mind. There they go. And this is why I thought I would put in the actual bone shaker interior. I was just going to put in some kind of chrome seats to match up, but look at this. Here's the body of the original bone shaker, and here's the tuned one. Exactly the same size. It's basically the same body, almost to a T. Just slightly shifted a little bit, kind of more of a, a tilt to it, like an angle to it. Then of course this little opening part here where the little arm that moves the guy back and forth sits. Other than that, basically the same. So I was hoping that I'd be able to just feed this right in somehow without too much finagling. And it should just pop right into place. Kind of what I thought. I am going to have to drill this open, unfortunately, but hey, that's okay. So we got the body drilled out. Here's the original Bone Shaker's uh, interior. And these two should match up exactly. Ooh, snug fit. Oh, it's going right in. There we go. Seats fit in perfectly. Dashboard lines right up with the top edge of the window, or the bottom edge of the window, I should say. Well, it almost fits, but we have a little modifying to do. There's a post here that holds up the, uh, holds up part of the engine, that's gotta go. There's a considerable knob on top of the motor here, that's gonna have to come off. There's also a post in the back that needs to come off also. Not the cleanest, but we'll go in with the X-Acto knife, clean it up a bit, and then we'll see if the body and the interior can sit on there correctly. 
and then we'll figure out how to get the motor to, you know, fit in between all of it. All right, now as far as the motor here goes, I'm pretty much gonna have to take off this whole nub and cut kind of a triangle right through there, right up to the, uh, the hole where the post comes through. Now I'm just trying to figure out what part of the motor is still hitting the new dashboard. And then I'm gonna take that out and we should be, should be good to go. Looks like I gotta take a little bit more out of the center there. All right, the posts are out. The motor of uh, the skull shaker is in. The standard bone shaker interior is now in. And we have ourselves a true tuned bone shaker. A lot of times with customs, if you're doing one on YouTube, it's best to make the custom first and know what you're doing, but I just decided to wing it. So it took a little longer than it probably should have, but there you go. Hope you guys are out hunting. Hope you guys are out finding cool things, doing cool things. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.